When you've got seasoned hacks who have seen just about every car there is to see, and they're getting out their mobile phones and they're taking pictures and all the rest of it, you know you're onto something special. Because it's a carbon fibre car, you might brush something and it, it sounds different from a normal car or even an aluminium race car. It's great to see this combination of diesel and electric. It's the marriage made in heaven, surely, if we're thinking about low emissions and fuel economy. One of the features that really uh, define it is the driving experience. And it's what the Germans call sailing. And it's when the vehicle literally switches everything off, disengages all the gears, and just coasts along silently. And you're traveling along at 60 miles an hour and thinking, I am absolutely using no fuel here. The car is very clever, and it shows the company is very clever. And I hear that message from other manufacturers. I can't think of anybody that's taking on Volkswagen and beating it. The first results of XL1 are likely to be in terms of materials technology. The next generation Golf, for instance, will have carbon fiber parts under the bonnet. Dr. Hackenberg has told us this. Should Volkswagen be excited? I mean, I'm excited by it. What it does is establish Volkswagen as the clear blue thinkers, the guys who dare to dream. Would I buy one? And that's really the acid test for motoring journalists. I think I probably would. If it was downstairs now, you would want one. It is a fabulous thing. This is Volkswagen saying uh, we're prepared to take on the world and beat it.